The first class this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, will be 1,800-pound mini rods. And I like to call these the sprint cars of truck and tractor pulling. Actually, the most powerful vehicle in truck and tractor pulling, because combining the weight and the cubic inch and so forth. So let's get ready and give the drivers. Up number one out of Wadesville, Indiana, driving the tractor known as Footloose, here's Larry Kester. Larry Kester, ladies and gentlemen. Up number two, a real fine and also a dynamite looking mini rod out of Lewisburg, Ohio, the tractor known as the Sting Again, Mr. Roger Wysong. Roger Wysong, ladies and gentlemen. And a man that's been pulling for many, many years here out of Roseville, Illinois, the fistful of dollars tractor, Terry Schisler. Terry Schisler, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Welcome, Terry. Up fourth, the Arkansan out of Heth, Arkansas, here's Tommy Cordell. Tommy Cordell. Out of Dubuque, Iowa, pulling in Fantasy Two. here's Max Smith, Max Smith. And out of Ida, Michigan, the Michigan Twister, here's Scott Amy, Scott Amy. And out of Greencastle, Pennsylvania, the instigator won the water balloon king of the United States, Terry Kirshner, Terry Kirshner, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Out of Zanesville, Ohio, a guy that's known as Fireball to a lot of friends, the Pepsi Generation tractor, Dave Campbell. Dave Campbell, ladies and gentlemen. And out of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, Denny Horst. Denny Horst, ladies and gentlemen. From Greencastle, Pennsylvania, in the instigator two, here's Ronnie Hoffman. Ronnie Hoffman. From Lewisburg, Ohio, the equalizer and Ron Baker. Ron Baker. Out of Thornville, Ohio, in Buckeye Special, here's Richard Peters. Richard Peters from Thornville, Ohio. And out of Huntingburg, Indiana, gentlemen, just buying a brand new engine going on this tractor, known as the Gambler, here's Mike Sweppy. Mike Sweppy, ladies and gentlemen. And out of Pine Bluff, Arkansas, a gentleman that's won here for many, many years and continues to rock, rock and roll in the mini rod uh, category, the Tough Enough tractor, here's Glenn Gunther. Glenn Gunther, ladies and gentlemen, out of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And to complete the class, out of Stuttgart, Arkansas, taking care of businessman, Terry Dabbs. Let's give the mini rod pullers a nice round of applause. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? All, no more than about seven feet long. And as I told you earlier, weight per cubic inch. This is the most powerful pulling vehicle in the world right here. The wheel speed on the back of these tractors will go up as much as over 125 to 130 miles an hour on wheel spin alone. It's like a small dragster, and I mean to tell you, they will kick it up and go, and you're gonna see them right now here at Louisville. Up number one, here we go. Larry Kester, he'll be our test puller. Waynesville, Indiana, the footloose machine on the line right now. Oh, pop. I don't know whether the kill switch got him or not, but man, he started out and detonated on him right there. We'll check it out and take a look, see if everything's okay. It's like a hand grenade pin. It's about uh, two inches in diameter or so, and uh, it's got to at least have 15 pounds of force on the back of it, of pressure. So when it pops out of there, it automatically puts an electronic deadening system right to the engine and shuts that motor off. So in other words, ladies and gentlemen, it's just like the kill switch is what we call it. It was actually invented here at the National Farm Machinery Show many, many years ago by Jerry Baird and a guy by the name of Lloyd Douglas out of Illinois who did it many, many years ago. So they have been around for a while, I'll tell you. So here we go back on the starting line once again now with Footloose and Larry Kester as they try to refire that tractor and get it ready to come on. Made a great run. Pulled that baby right there. Man, I'll tell you. Good shot. So why song? Max Smith's friend shuts off. 
We're going to start over. Okay. We're going to stop this class as we take it out. We're going to catch it back over there with the footloose. Said hi to Todd and Sheen over there, and we'll take it on back. Most likely, he got a ring and pinion right there. Very much sounds like a ring and pinion or a coupler that let the tractor go here on the bike. Let Back on the line, he comes up ready to go. Y song broke. Here we go with Schistler now. Powered by 512 cubic inches of Rodec on the line right here. A lot of Rodec motor. Oh, little pop. Man, oh man. He just sits real tight down in that mini rod. Did you see the wheel spin I was talking about a while ago? Man, oh man, he runs those strange axles and spools in there. Now I'll tell you, he really kicks it up and goes. It is really some kind of sound. We're going to work these end sections early on. So that, uh, we'll just survey everybody a little bit to find out where everybody's from. And the right side of the track is the leading distance right here. If the front of the sled, not the tractor, but if the front of the sled goes past that pylon, you've got a new leader. So let's see what's going on here now. On the line, Tommy Cordell, the Arkansan, on the line right now. Oh, shut him off real quick. I don't think anything seriously done. We keep seem to be pulling those kill switches awful, awful easily here this afternoon. We might want to lengthen it whatsoever. Maybe everything's okay. I don't know. Now south of Cridman. Okay. I see you got the program there. Keep the notes. Look like you've been here before. About 15 years. Is that right? 15 years. Yes, sir. You make all the pulls? Yes, sir. Five of us comes all together. The Fantasy Two right here. On the line, ready to go. Max Smith rolls up. Man, we got a bunch of FFA groups here this afternoon. We'll recognize everybody here in just a couple of minutes throughout the afternoon. Max Smith now on the line. Oh, man, I tell you what, we're breaking rear ends like you would not believe this afternoon. Trannies and rear ends or whatever, they're chunk, chunk, chunk. They are going quick. All right. Nope, that was it. Clutch, folks. It was clutch fire right there and a lot of clutch dust. And I'm sure he's got a little bit of heat there right on him as he got ready to go out of there. But man, oh man, he tried to do it, but the, that's what you call that clutch, how hot it was. And then that's the part of the safety portion that puts it everything down and everything seems to be okay with everybody down there. We're here in 218. I wanted to continue this section, get these folks down here in the end because they look real serious. Hi there, where are you from? Mattoon, Illinois. Where's that at? Uh, a little bit east of Springfield. How long take you to get over here for the pull? About five hours. Is uh, something you all come to all the time, or is it your first year? How many years you been coming? Well, we've been coming about eight. So, uh, how many of you are in your group? Three. Three of you come here every year. It's good to have you here out of Springfield, Illinois, as we get ready to go with our next mini rod. They'll be coming out. Big class here today. Amy, Scott out of uh, Ida, Michigan, and the Michigan Twister as a fine running tractor. Here we go now with Larry Kester. Let it all hang out. Folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. Larry Kester. Pull for Larry Kester. Full pull for Larry Kester right there. He is your leader. 
You know, ICI America's Make Those Tractors Roar here at Freedom Hall. So back on the line we go with the next puller up, and it will be Scott Amy. He is out of Ida, Michigan, the Michigan Twister. Let's find one at Tractor. Watch it go. Oh, yeah. Makes number two here this afternoon. Out of here. Good run. The Michigan Twister. Let's give Scott a nice round of applause, folks. Scott, Amy. I just come down for Friday and Saturday. And so you've been here every year but one, huh? Every one but one, yeah. This is about as good as it gets, isn't it? Yes, sir. It sure is. Great. As he goes back to the starting line to get ready to make his run, All right, Terry Kirshner. And not out of here today, no sir. Kirshner, right there, good, strong run. That's all I can tell you. They come to the pool every year? No. Second time. Second time. You like the, what's your favorite class? You got a favorite? Nah. Just like them all. Good to have you here and join the pool here this afternoon as we get ready for the next mini ride as the Pepsi pulling team brings her on out. All right, up next out of Zanesville, Ohio, the Fireball King, the Pepsi Regeneration Man, Dave Campbell. Out of Zanesville, Ohio, fine running Pepsi Generation Tractor. Listen to that Chevrolet engine, ladies and gentlemen, sounded right in time. The heartbeat of America right there. All right, on the line we go with Dave Campbell. All right, Campbell right there. Let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. He almost made it out of here. Good run. 71. 225.71. Denny Horst from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. The Red Fox on the line. 1,800 pound mini rod as he comes up ready to go. Dennis Horst. there and what a perfect run for that mini rod it was man oh man that is the perfect run when you can keep those wheels just about seven to eight inches off the ground and ride those rear wheels folks let's give him a nice round of applause now we moved across the track let's let's look around this section look like a bunch of good people this let's go down the front row and see what we got down here come right down here look he's trying to hide from me <laughs> give us your name tell us where you're from uh, alcohol, folks, and are present with us as the blowers are all blowing engines here this afternoon and a real fine show they're doing, too. C-1 
So we go now on the line with the equalizer out of Lewisburg, Ohio. Uh, did you see how he came down the track, Sashay and Heidi O? He had to get on the brakes, folks. He was afraid he was going out of bounds. And when you do that, man, oh, man, that sure delays your progress. Quite a contrast between the last run when they ran straight down. Yo, is the rest of this one tonight? No problem. Oh, well, you guys are serious, huh? You bet. <laughs> Peters, Thornville, Ohio. Second place in the National Farm Machinery Show last year in this class as he comes to line. On deck will be Mike Schweppe and in the hole, Glenn Gunther, the defending champion. Did you see him come down the track? Man, oh man. Richard Peters, Thornville, Ohio. The Buckeye Special. 181 cubes of Rodak on the gambler of Mike Schweppe. So let's see what happens now as he gets ready to roll. And spinning those tires. All right. Let's give Mike a nice round of applause. Mike Schweppe, ladies and gentlemen. Those guys just sold me a distributor for my race car, and uh, I'm questioning whether it's good or not. <laughs> They originally wanted down $175, but somehow I was able to buy it for $75 yesterday. I can't figure it out. If you, if you can get $100 for saying nice about somebody, I think I'm going to get in that business. That's not a bad deal. Let's work this in section a little bit more again. You know, got some great hot rods coming up, and a lot of the mini rods. But we're already getting ready for, I want to stop this guy right here. He's got two handfuls, got the popcorn, but he's got the John Deere hat on, so we know who he's ready for. The stockers will be coming up just a little bit later. Everybody getting ready for those as well, Butch. We need a fire marshal, one of the state fire marshals, please. All right, here we go. Glenn Gunther, your defending champion. Pine Bluff, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, folks, on the line. Glenn Gunther, the tough enough tractor, moving in. He's out of Pine Bluff, Arkansas, ready to go. This guy builds mini rod chassis for a living. That's what he does. It's called precision engineering, and he builds quite a few of the chassis that you see here this afternoon. On deck will be Terry Dabb, Stuttgart, Arkansas, and taking care of business. So here's your last year's winner. Let's see what he does today. Glenn Gunther, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. All right, good run for the defending champion. Mr. Gunther, right there. Continue to run until the, uh, it, it shuts off on these supercharged engines. They shut them off and it will continue to run. They take them up a little bit of a higher RPM.
All right, here we go. Terry Dabbs, Stuttgart, Arkansas, taking care of business. Chevrolet Part, machine on the line right now. Oh, detonate right there, pop, pop. Everything's okay, though, folks, as he shuts it off. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Terry Dabbs, folks, and the pull-off is getting ready to come up here in just a couple of minutes. Four in the pull-off. Pull distance, 200.99, 200.99. Here's Tom Cardell now, Heath, Arkansas. The Arkansan on the line right now. Boy, did I take a ribbing when I used to call that the Arkansas, man. Woo! By the way, that mini rod is for sale. If you'd like to buy a real top-notch running mini rod, there you go. He'll even take it to your house here this afternoon if you'd like to buy it. Oh. And the last tractor in the class right here. All right, placed very well here last year at Louisville, Kentucky, on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, the instigator two has rolled right on there. Good shot. Davis County, Kentucky. Davis County, Kentucky. I used to live down that way. That's a nice area. Where do you go to school at down there? Thruston. Thruston. I even know where that is. It's good to have you up here. Do you have any special bunch you cheer for? Anybody you like best? Nah. Likes them all. That's the way a lot of people do. I was like, drop down a row here and We'll grab somebody else. You look like a good spokesman for this group. Where are y'all from? Hart County. How many of you come up? Just four of us. Do you, is this your first year? Do you make it every year or what? Make it every year we can for my boy's birthday. Well, great. It's a great way to see. Whose birthday is it? Is it your birthday? His birthday? Let me get down there. Is today your birthday? No. February 15th. Oh, we missed it. Butch, Butch would have sang happy birthday to you, too. How old are you? Twelve. Who's your favorite out here? Do you have a favorite class, or favorite tractors? Do you like the rods, or who do you like? Mini rods. The mini rods. Well, we got a full off coming. Good to have you here. Butch, I want to hear that happy birthday song for that young man, all right? All right. No, I will not sing it. You will. <laughs> Put me in a position like that, man. I'll tell you right now. Okay, we have an announcement here. Wayne Duvall, please come to the announcer stand for a message. Wayne Duvall, please come to the announcer stand for a message. I'd like to welcome the Linton, Indiana FFA, seven members, one advisor, and one adult with them, and also the Monrovia FFA is here today from Indiana. Thank you very much. Uh, ICI guest of Rick Farrell from Bloomfield FFA in Indiana, and County FFA, 50 members, two advisors, two guests, uh, 18 straight years. Where are you, Ohio County? Stand up again. I want to see you. All right. Well, now, man, oh, man, we are going to let them pull at each other here, I guess. What a shot he made. 
and have worked with him on the circuit on the Red Man TNT All American Pulling Series around the country. Special. How about all you people from Ohio? Here's one of your guys right now on the starting line, Richard Peters. Full distance, 241.72. That's what Kester got. 241.72. He is your leader. The full pull, 245 feet. In the pull-off here, we're making them go for it here this afternoon in these rods right now. Man, are they quick or what? I told you the ground speed on these wheels way over 100 miles an hour a while ago, and they are making their shots. So let's see what happens now as he takes it back to the line and shuts things off. We may need the battery and have to fire him back up again this day here at the National Farm Machinery Show tractor pull. <laughs> Folks, that's what you <laughs> Well, we get the word out here what's going on. They uh, they put their weight in their tractor and uh, or the sled, but instead of going up a couple of gears to make it go a little harder, they went down by mistake, and that's why they're getting out of here again. Bill Borries to the announcer stand, Bill Borries. And right there, the four, Dennis Horst and the Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, Red Fox, in that order, right there. And Gunther smokes those tires as he makes his run. Okay. 228.13. 228.13. Hoffman, the instigator number two. Making a last minute adjusted on the front end of the tractor down there. They'll be coming our way. A lot of heat in that engine. You can see the heat coming out of the tubes. And right there, folks, right there. Oh, 191, I mean 190.51, 190 190.51, 190.51. Buy trucks and tractors and includes a list of your winter schedule. Get your program now. All right, Richard stops right there. Man, did he have that tractor weighted right. Now, he has set the distance for Denny Horse to be right here this afternoon as he shuts that big road deck down. Folks, the engine on that tractor alone, you're looking at $30,000 worth of engine right there. Special 158.65, 158.65.
6-5. That's it. All right, folks, the pylons. That's the distance to beat right there. Here we go. Oh, man. Detonated on him right there. Your winner, Richard Peters, Thornville, Ohio. He is your winner this afternoon in the mini rod. Second place will go to Dennis Horst out of uh, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. And third will go to uh, some guy named Kester out of Indiana. I don't know. If Congratulations. Yeah, I was kind of worried whether we was going to make it or not. The oil pressure was pretty low on the motor, but I thought, well, I'll get a gamble for it. It's been a few years since I won down here, so I want to go for it. I'll tell you what, you really had the ground speed here this afternoon, and I'll tell you what, nobody could have weighted the tractor any better. It was weighed perfectly. Yeah, we've uh, changed the hitch around this year a little on it, and uh, still experiment a little bit, but it's working pretty good. Well, congratulations on your win. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Dick Peters from Thornville, Ohio, a nice round of applause. Here's your 1,800-pound mini rod winner here. Thank you. Congratulations. We wait for the trophy presentations here by Steve Dal Sasso from ICI America and Joe Claxon from the Kentucky State Fair Board as they present the awards here to Denny Horse this afternoon. And uh, we'll get over and kind of talk, let you talk to Denny here for a minute, kind of up close and personal. Dennis, congratulations. Uh, thank you, sir. I tell you what, you really put a good show on for the people. I was kind of concerned on your last pull. You looked like you had a little problem over there when you went out. Uh, I thought maybe you might build up some, too much heat or something was wrong with the engine. Well, I made four runs today. I elected to make a test run this morning since I haven't ran all winter. Uh, come out, make a full pull, come back, make another full pull. At that time, the engine was very hot. What kind of temperature do these engines generally get up? Do you have a temperature gauge on them generally, or uh, you don't run one? Like, it's not like a car, because you run a lot of dry block, don't you? No, that's correct. We run a dry block, so the only way to measure temperature would be the oil temperature. And I can read that by an oil pressure gauge when the needle goes the wrong way. Well, congratulations. A lot of people from Pennsylvania here this afternoon. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Dennis Horse, ladies and gentlemen. Chamber now, looking right there. There's one of them right there from Pennsylvania. What do you say, lady? How you doing? Sure, I'm going to talk to you. Get over here. Congratulations, Larry. I tell you what, I was telling everybody, I'm sorry I wasn't on the tour with you guys this year. We had a great time last year. We've had a blast. I tell you, I've got a lot of people to thank for what, what we've done here. Uh, my sponsors, Larry Gates and Hardy Brake, have helped me out tremendous. Larry's helped me a whole lot. Good friend, Fred Freeman, builds the best motor best cheap motor out here and uh, you said cheap motors that what you're saying everything we do is cheap uh, my wife she's uh, pushed me either one way or the other and uh, my parents they're up there where are they at where are they said hey all right let's give them a nice round of applause welcome to Louisville good deal well, I'll tell you what, I'm proud to know you. I told you that a long time ago. It's great to have you here at Louisville. I'm sorry you didn't win, but man, with a field you had here today, third place is not bad at all. No, uh, uh, with a group of tractors here, all I wanted to do was get down to the end of the track and not break. And uh, this one was for Ashley and Adam. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause right here. How about it? Larry Kester, good job. Good job.